Okay, you should have a box now. Nice, beautiful, square. Step two, you're gonna lightly draw on the shape of your letter. So my example up here is an M, and an M is naturally symmetrical, right? For Miss McCollum, that's my letter. However, I wanna also draw an R, that's for Renee, my first name, and I also wanted to show you because it's an asymmetrical letter, meaning, right, there's, if you cut it in half, it's not very symmetrical. So some of you might choose a letter like an R or like a P, right? Those are a little bit asymmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is fill up the box and I'm gonna draw lightly. Those are very, very important. So with an R, right, if you wanna draw it on the side so you remember what the letter looks like, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do it about the thickness of the M, but just to kind of give you a sense of measurement. I don't know, it's about my knuckle or my thumb. And it's just gonna be a light drawing. And this part's kind of tricky, especially with the R. I actually probably want it to come out here. So I might change my mind right now. <laughs> and see how I'm lightly drawing it in. And with the R too, right, it's kind of curved. You're gonna make little curves to cut off some of the box, but I still wanna fill up the box. So whatever letter you choose, just remember those two things. Try to keep your drawing light. Try to keep it where you're filling up the box. And consider the thickness of your letter and the symmetry, depending on your letter. Even though an R is not symmetrical, it's still pretty balanced. And <laughs> it's way harder than it actually looks. So. I'm gonna actually keep the corner of this R. So it's gonna come here. Maybe I'll just make this curve a little bit curvier. That'll help. But I want it to come to the edge. Other letters you might consider like an S, right? S would be pretty balanced and you have um, the same amount of the corners taken out. Remember, pencil, you can erase. That's the beauty of working with pencil first. We're gonna darken in our lines a little bit later, but I wanna make sure I have my shape down first. I don't really like how that part looks yet. And to measure your thickness, you can use your fingers or get your pencil to kind of check that. Boop, boop, that looks about even. And then I'm just gonna draw a little see. That's sort of even. And then the tricky part with these letters, right? If you do a P um, or what, a B, it'll be a little bit trickier to figure out, but you could do it. So whatever letter you choose, draw in lightly first. Go ahead and do that step now and then watch the next video.